what's the key to Benjamin's relationship with Jefferson Davis? He becomes the Attorney General, Secretary of War, Secretary of State. I mean, that's that is just you know one incredible position after another during the Civil War. What, what was the key to that relationship? Yeah, it's an amazing thing. You know, I could have called this book Court Jew of the Confederacy because he was a court Jew. He was like Joseph, you know, in the court of Pharaoh. Um, and, and Jefferson Davis trusted him in the way that Pharaoh trusted uh, a Joseph. Um, and the, it, it, the relationship, they're, the, they're two radically different people. You know, I've described Judah Benjamin's languor. Jefferson Davis was a ferocious, often terrifying, austere, suffering person who was a devout believer in slavery and above all in states' rights. And so these two men were not obviously compatible at all. And their friendship began in a very bizarre way. They got into an argument on the floor of the Senate and uh, Davis insulted Benjamin in a way that you would insult someone who you thought was like a little Jew lawyer. We don't know that he said those words, but he must have thought that thing. And Benjamin felt it and responded with it. He challenged Jefferson Davis to a duel. Well, that is crazier on balance than Alexander Hamilton challenging Aaron Burr to a duel. He would have been slaughtered. And Jefferson Davis, for the maybe the only time in his life, said, you know what? I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I apologize. Shocking. So that drew the two of them together. And when Davis formed the cabinet, first in Mobile, and then they moved to Richmond, he asked uh, Benjamin to come. I don't know that he knew exactly what he wanted Benjamin to do, but he knew he had to have him near him. And so within a few months, Davis understood that this cabinet that he had assembled mostly because he needed to take one person from every state, and they were mostly mediocrities, it was far inferior to Lincoln's cabinet, had in it this one person who could do the work of 10, and that was Judah Benjamin. And then there was this temperamental thing that Judah Benjamin could make Jefferson Davis calm. Jefferson Davis was, was worried all the time, and he was tense all the time. And Judah Benjamin would come into the office whistling a happy tune with a nice word for everybody all around. And when people were panicking, Judah Benjamin was still telling his little jokes, you know, and enjoying the tiny little delicacies that maybe were still available uh, in the world of food rationing. And so he was a kind of balance wheel for this feverish, ardent figure that was Jefferson Davis. 